in today's tutorial, we'll be going over the basics of how you can create a DJ mix in Ableton Live. Hi, my name's Akita. I'm a London-based DJ and producer. In today's video, we'll cover making DJ mixes in Ableton. This is particularly handy if you don't have access to DJ equipment or fancy creating a mix from the comfort of your laptop. Also, if you don't have Ableton installed, you can get a 90-day demo right now of the full software for free of charge directly through their website. So there's plenty of time to give it a thorough battering and see if it works for you. First up, we have the track selection. I personally start with the tunes, gathering enough music to fill out the mix. In this example, I'll only be using two songs to cover the basics to show you how the process can work for you. I want to send a massive thanks to Noir and Farsight for letting me use some of their unreleased music in this video. Also, the Farsight track will be available to download through Akitomart. It's made completely out of drum samples from my pack 100 hits, which is out now. I've left a link in the description for you. First, I'll input the songs into individual channels. This makes for easier volume adjustments, effects as well as alterations in arrangement, as you have the freedom to move the audio files as you wish. Once the files are imported, we'll move on to warping. Once I have the music in Ableton, I want to make sure that they are quantized to the grid. I'll achieve this by warping the audio. So once they are layered on top of each other, they should be perfectly synchronized. I'll start by double clicking the audio file I want to warp. I'll locate the first beat or transient and set it as my starting point. I'll delete any existing warp markers, I'll then adjust the number of the BPM until it sits well on the grid. I'll fine tune it until it's perfect. Once the markers are set, you can fine tune it by clicking the marker and holding down shift and bumping it left or right. Master BPM. You may wish to stick to one BPM or transition between many. This can be easily achieved by automating your master BPM. If you right click the BPM counter to the top left and select show automation, you can then set the speeds it will start and finish on using the automation line. equalization. To keep this process quite quick and intuitive, I tend to stick with Ableton's free band EQ. It's the closest EQ I know to a DJ mixer. As I'll mostly only be automating the bass for the music in the mix, I can quickly program how I want it to increase or decrease with automation. For the volumes of your tracks, you can set them in the mixer section. You can also adjust them by double clicking your desired file and using the volume knob. The volumes can be automated too for smoother transitions between tracks. If you have a MIDI controller with knobs or faders, these can be MIDI mapped too, giving your automation a more human feel. This could work well on volumes and effects. Effects. Personally, I don't go too wild on the effects if I ever use Ableton to record a mix. I'll usually use the default reverb and echo at most, but this is just me of course. It's worth experimenting to see if it's better for you on the sends or having the effects on the channel.
Mastering. To raise the overall volume and reduce any nasty peaks, you can set up a simple mastering chain. Usually I'll just add a limiter to normalize the overall volume of the mix. I'll set the limiter so it just slightly limits it, no more than a dB or two, as I don't want to destroy the dynamic range of the audio. and onto exporting. Once the mix is done and you're happy with the selection, arrangement, volumes and effects, you're going to want to export the file as a single stereo file. Simply go to export. This will give you the option of bouncing out the file in a compressed or uncompressed format. Select either or both, then hit export. Done. I hope you enjoyed today's video and now you have your head around the basics of compiling and creating a DJ mix in Ableton. If you know anyone that will find this video tutorial helpful, please feel free to share and send it to them. Also, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos. Until next time, stay safe. Love.